And let's actually talk about Lakers basketball. Lakers, um, Lake Show. Yes, we'll exactly. turn to that, boys. Alrighty, yeah, exactly. So Lakers, obviously. LeBron. Yeah, with the Lakers, obviously, we're put in a position of LeBron is now a Laker. LeBron. So we have to really, truly figure out from their standpoint of how they're going to work. I mean, even looking at lineup combinations, all all encompassing with the Lakers, I'm still not even sure what their starting lineup is going to be. I'm honestly not even sure. Uh, I, yeah, literally. I, I The Lakers are the biggest question mark in the NBA. Versus even when LeBron went to the Heat, there was wasn't really too much of a question mark surrounding LeBron. It was more about it, it was it was more about like how will they be able to jail together. With this one, I don't even know where we begin with the Los Angeles Lakers. TPJ. Yes. What's your projecting starting five? Right now I know we we haven't started preseason yet, but the Schmo's got a projecting starting five. Maybe we work it out. Point guard is who? Obvious. Um well it is it obvious. It's not obvious. I mean obvious. even if you look at obvious. NBA two K nineteen and the Lakers depth chart technically Rajon Rondo is a starting point guard yeah. but and Rondo and Lonzo are gonna have to battle it out so I mean for me personally this is what my starting lineup will be but I know people aren't gonna agree my personal starting lineup for the Lakers this year would be Lonzo at point guard um, I'm actually gonna go with Josh Hart as shooting guard I know he's young but he can shoot and he's not as afraid of the moment I'm fine I like KCP but if if KCP is gonna give me 12 points per game starting Josh Hart can give me 12 points per game starting Period. LeBron at small four. I'm not starting Ingram. I'm starting Kuzma because I feel like they're going to need more offensive firepower. And Kuzma can stretch the floor much more than Ingram. And then, obviously, you got to go with JaVale McGee. Although, I wouldn't be upset if they went with Mo Wagner at small at, at power forward to start the game. And, and rotate it. I'm sorry, at center. And rotate JaVale McGee in at times um, to kind of do what he did with the Warriors. Because this is the thing. Look, I understand Mo's a rookie. But... Well, LeBron, you're going to want to have shooters around that can help him stretch the floor. Mo might not be a shooter, but Mo can operate in the mid-range. You can kind of put him down in the post. And he, and also because of the fact that all of these guys are young, no one is going to expect anything from them. And even by the time that the scouting reports really get truly out on all the Lakers and we know who everybody is and what they do from that standpoint, you can, you can then, if you're Luke Walton, make adjustments. Or go out there and make a trade to see, kind of fill some deficiencies. I think this season for them, you know, for the Lakers, is about keeping their cap room low, maybe landing another superstar if you can, like a Kawhi Leonard or a Jimmy Butler, and just setting yourself up in the best possible position to let the young guys develop, which is something that they haven't, they've done. But even when before Genie Bus came and took back over the franchise, her brother was doing a terrible job at running an organization, at developing the players, at putting them in the best possible positions to succeed. They literally let Kobe Bryant do whatever the hell he wanted to, and I understand it. But if you're building a foundation for the for the future of your team, you have to put the focus and the emphasis on development. And they never did that. They're doing it now, but they did that. They, but they weren't doing it before Magic Johnson and Genie Bus and Rob well, Palenka came to Los Angeles. You could. No, you yes, could. You could. No, you yes, you could. Yes, you could. Kobe has to go, but it's like. Kobe, Kobe has to go, but he was in a situation though where they didn't have to re up Kobe. Come on, G. Yes, you did. No, you didn't. Yes, you do. No, you did. No, you did. Come on, G. No, you did. Come on, G. Guys, guys, guys. Re up and Kobe come strapped on, the franchise of for course, two years. But come on, G. I, I want to know the projecting starting five when opening season tips off. So Not I'm, what I'm, they could do. No, 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 I, I no, no. That's my starting five. Lonzo Ball. What's your starting Josh five? Josh Hart. Five. LeBron James. Lonzo Ball. KCP. I'm going um, Ingram at the three. Braun at the four. And I'm going uh, JaVale at the um, five. It's closest to mine. Here's my take. Here's my take on this whole thing. I think Lonzo starts at the point guard position. Mm-hmm. This is just opening day season. Barring injury, Schmo's prediction right here. And well, I'll explain everything. It, Lonzo Ball, point guard. KCP at shooting guard. Mm-hmm. I'm going to put Brandon Ingram at the three, LeBron at the four, and Kuzma at the five. Just hear me out and listen to this. I like that lineup. I think I like they're going to experiment a little That's bit with this. It's going to be wild. It's going to be would, wild. That's going to be wild. Just real quick, if I can interrupt, I would rather LeBron at the five and then Kuzma. Maybe, maybe, but I think LeBron's going to play the four and Kuzma at the five just to start the season. And just hear me out. I think we're going to experiment with this no, no positionless NBA yeah, stuff. Luke yeah. Walton, what he wanted to do to implement with this team. I think overall, Josh Hart could end up being the starting shooting yeah. guard over time mm-hmm. over KCP, but due to veteran leadership and his defensive presence, I think they're going to, because Alonzo lacks in the defensive mm-hmm. side and yeah. his development, Rondo will certainly help with that and bring in the tenacity. Yeah. 
I think this Lakers team is really going to compete. I think it's going to be very interesting. You mentioned those trades with Kawhi Leonard, mm -hmm. potentially. I think it, the only way Kawhi Leonard comes to Los Angeles, we can talk about it later, would mm -hmm. be with the Clippers. And that's the only reason why Doc Rivers was able to be retained by the Clippers, because you, that was the best chance to get fired. It's not that I think he should have been fired. I just think you know what you're going to get with Doc. Mm -hmm. I think it's very predictable. I think he was able to win that championship with Boston because they had their own big three, right? Yeah. He was the first one to really start that stuff. Yeah. Not in Miami, but it was in Boston. And Thank he had you. Tibbs with him. Yeah, Tibbs is the defensive Tibbs might be back with him after this season in Minnesota because <laughs> Tibbs has That's been a good point. tripping. That's, that, that could happen, man. He just doesn't want to take his foot off the gas pedal. That's why he left Chicago. It always feuded with everybody. Exactly. Up to. So yeah. anyways, I think that would be the, the lineup. And barring how they perform, I think they have the potential to finish second in the division. I agree. Maybe third. I think they're definitely going to be a playoff team. If I were to guess right now, haven't watched preseason, I think they're going to get the sixth seed. That's just my guess. However, I think the ceiling for them is to get as high as a third seed. How many wins? 56. I said 53. So 56 is going to make you the sixth seed? That's a yeah, lot of wins. Yeah, like, yeah. What, That's a know, lot what, of wins. What's the conference you playing in? Well, oh, well I guess it depends, though. 56 is the high. Let me say the low is going to be 47. Fair. If they win 47 games this year, I would genuinely be shocked. Like, I would be shocked. No, no, not even, not even shocked from, like, a bad perspective. Like, I couldn't believe they only won 47 games. Like, what? LeBron to me, they won 30, what, 4, 35 games? LeBron instantly asked 20 games. Um, Me, personally, I think this team. 36 was my series. Yeah, exactly. So, I'm not upset about that. Me, personally, I think man for man, this team is better than the team he had in Cleveland last year. Man for man. Yeah, better. way better, way man better. Man. For one. This team wouldn't get swept I, out of I agree. I for agree. One, I for agree. one, anytime you have Kevin Love on the court, you know he's going to get hurt for at least 20 games. <laughs> We instantly know Kevin Love not gonna play twenty games. Mm -hmm. um, That's then, fair. Then, 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 then you let's go with the lineup that that he took to the finals. I think Lonzo's better than George Hill. I'm sorry, I do. I also think Ronald's better than George Hill. I'm sorry, I do. We went over this. KCP as an incarcerated man shot the same as J.R. Smith, who was a free man the entire year. Mm -hmm. Wash. So KCP, I think, is better than what J.R. Smith is. Okay. Then you add LeBron in there. Then um, as soon as they had Trish, and okay, we got JaVale. Wash. And then the bench. A cool better than everybody off the bench for Cleveland last year. I yeah, agree. Easily. So we agree. I, I, I think that Jerry West said his ideal team is five, six, nine guys. And we're going to do this. How tall is Kuzma? Do this. Kuzma is six, eight, I think. Six, eight, six, nine. So basically, your whole Lakers starting lineup will be above six, six. We do this, we covering up half the court. We switching everything. And then when you think about the lineup combination, they can run. Look, they got a lot of guys who just don't. I shake. Who don't give a. Beasley, I don't think Beasley cares about hooping. Lance Stevenson, he don't care. Rondo, been there before, he don't care. Josh Hart, I can already tell, he don't care. Kyle Kuzma, he don't care. They got a lot of people on the team who are not going to be scared of the moment when the moment comes, even if they haven't been there before. And you got a lot of guys who have been there before. Lance been in the conference finals league three times. Rondo been in playoffs down there every single year. So you think even even if Braun want to go to the bench, Braun could play 32 minutes a night and they can still win 50, 52 games.